What are we thinking, boys? Do I buy the Sigma Mail subscription for $20.99 a month? All right, so Roblox has just added subscriptions. So now if I join a game, I can buy the um, the Sigma Mail subscription. I have these amazing headphones as well, which I don't know if you noticed, but you know, they look pretty cool. Now, this wouldn't be a good video without any conflict. And conflict there will be, because I actually do have some things that I dislike about subscriptions that I think just could have been better from the get-go. But obviously for you to understand what I'm talking about, how do subscriptions actually work? Now, if you're an amazing developer just like I am, you have access to this website called the Creator Hub. You just click on your published game, you click on subscriptions. So there's my uh, Sigma Mail subscription, which is currently active. But let's say I want to make a new subscription, okay? How do I do that? A very interesting thing that I found with subscriptions is that like they have a lot more of these like things that you need to fill out, right? Because like, for example, if we take something like like a pass, all it needs is just yeah, image, name, a description, maybe. And the subscription needs that too, but also a product type, a price and the subscription period. I'm not going to go over like, you know, the basic stuff because you're smart enough to know what this is. But this product type thing actually really caught my attention because clicking on this drops down a menu, which gives you three choices, durable, consumable and currency. Durable is for things which the user can just keep even after the subscription runs out. So for example, maybe let's say you have like an FPS game and then every single week you just you release a new weapon, right? And then maybe you make a subscription where, you know, the user pays monthly and as long as they're subscribed, they get that new weapon for free. So then for a game like that, you're probably not going to take the weapons away when their subscription runs out, right? You They get to keep the items. So that's what durable means. Now, consumable items, on the other hand, are items which do not last, right? This is either due to the nature of the item. So maybe it's like some potion which you can, you know, consume for health and then the potion disappears. Or for items that you can only use uh, while the user is subscribed, right? So maybe you, you are going to take away the user's, like, weapon when they cancel their subscription, which is kind of stupid but like you know you do you and then currency i mean i don't even have to explain this one but now let's take a look at how game developers are actually adding these subscriptions into their games and even if you aren't a game developer yourself i still think this would be a helpful insight for you to have I remember how at the beginning when like i joined the game and i got this like you know alpha male or no, sigma male subscription i didn't just get this prompt randomly right in fact I wrote a script, too scary, I know. This script might look kind of lengthy, but honestly, all I'm doing is I'm just accessing the marketplace service. I'm getting the player, which, you know, this is my name, so I'm just getting myself as the player. And then I'm getting the subscription ID, which in case you don't know how to get, you just literally go to your subscription and then just click copy ID. Like, it's not that hard. And then I just run the function called prompt subscription purchase, and then I give it the player and the ID. So it prompts this player to purchase the subscription with this ID. And so I know most of you aren't but if you are like following along with this then when you copy this code just remember to replace my name with yours and then this id with you know the id of your subscription and a quick note as well by the way uh make sure to actually activate your subscription okay so mine is active but yours might be not so just you know go through that little process so before recording this video i did actually look at like everything that people could do with these subscriptions but i am going to show you all of them because again insights or whatever i said before obviously the first thing you have is the prompt subscription purchase right you give it the player you give it the id it prompts the player very simple now the next three functions are all kind of the same right you could probably understand what they mean so this one is get user subscription status right you give it the player you give it the id but here what it does is it returns a table that contains the subscription status of the player so for example is the player subscribed right now and like are they going to renew the subscription next month or like next week or next year or you know whatever your subscription is at the next function is literally the same except it just gives you like different details right i don't, I don't know why they had to split these but whatever and then payment history, which basically just returns as a table of like, oh yeah, the user paid for this month, but they didn't pay for this month. This is more just done for like refunds and stuff. You are right? not getting money back. <laughs> but obviously you're looking at this right now and you're thinking like, oh, but I want to see what these look like. And I know that looked like a cut right now, but I actually just coded at light speed. What I'm basically doing here is I'm just printing out each table. So the first thing I'm printing out is the subscription status then the details, and then the payment history. And again, just to note, all of these are for me and for my subscription, which I just created, you know, as a test for this video. So the tables aren't going to be like full of information. And yeah, so the very first table was the status, right? So is renewing is false and is subscribed is false, okay? I'm not even subscribed to my own alpha male subscription service. Maybe I should, because, you know, I do want to be an alpha male. The next table are the details, which is just subscription state, 
and never subscribed. And then my payment history is just an empty table. Like I said, don't expect too much from the tables. But already, this is like hopefully kind of getting you in the understanding of like, okay, so this is what developers actually are working with when it comes to subscriptions. So like, you know, if you're trying to like scam some developer by being like, oh, I was subscribed and never got anything, but like you never were subscribed because, you know, they can check. You know, just, I don't know, maybe pick a smarter way to scam people. I have time. to scam more people. Now, if you're someone with a very keen eye, you've probably noticed that I missed one of the functions, okay? And it's called Get Subscription Product Info Async. And this one is special because it actually doesn't need a player. It just needs the subscription ID. And as the name suggests, this just returns information about the subscription. Now, the reason I held this one off is because if I do run it and I give it the ID, right? Like, I'm not, I know I'm not printing it, but like, you'll see why I'm not printing it in a bit. It gives me an error that says you can only call it from script with run context equals client, which is just very fancy talk for don't do this in server script, instead do in local script. And yeah, so if I just do a, um, <laughs> there we go. And then I'm just gonna delete the server script because we don't really need it anymore. Then it's gonna give us a table. No, it won't because I forgot to print. Okay. And here we actually get a lot more information. So we get the description, we get the display price, we get the subscription period, we get the icon image asset ID, we know if it is for sale, we know its name, the price tier, subscription period, and subscription provider name. Now you might be thinking that some of these are repeating themselves. Like for example, what's the difference between display price and price tier? And this actually ties into uh, why we even need a local script for this in the first place. The reason being is that depending on where you live, prices will just be different. Like for me, it says $20.99 because I'm from Canada. So even though I set the subscription to be, you know, $14.99 in the website, for me, it shows up as $20.99 because that's my conversion rate. And then this also seems like the case for display subscription period and subscription period. Although don't quote me on this because I'm not too sure myself. Okay, this is actually really helpful information, but how do I access it, right? Well, again, this is just a table, okay? And if you want to access something from a table, you just put dot at the end of it, and then you just put the name of, you know, one of these. So for example, if I want the display price, I'll just say dot display price, like so. So if I run the game right now, it's going to print out the display price. And I should also mention that all of the um, other like functions that we covered won't work in a local script, right? So you can't prompt, uh, you can't uh, check the status, you can't check the product info, you can't check the subscription details, nor the subscription payment history. So all of the functions that like actually deal with, you know, like the important stuff like payments, uh, you know, subscription details, you know, prompt, that gets handled on the server. And so now that you actually know enough about the subscriptions, here are some of my complaints. The first and biggest complaint is that we aren't able to change this UI. Like, look, okay, I understand, right? This is done for safety reasons. You know, Roblox doesn't want people to like, you know, scam little kids by making like some, oh, click here for free Robux. But then if, in fact, it's actually not free Robux. It's a $20.99 a month subscription. But it's like Roblox could still give us limited customization, right? Like, at least let me change the color scheme of this, right, to fit my game. Like, I, I I don't know, I feel like there's just a lot, like, missing here. And I guess this isn't even really a subscription issue, it's just a Roblox issue in general. My other problem with the subscription is that you have to actually prompt users to buy it. Which I know that sounds like a weird complaint, but like, let me explain. What if Roblox, like, used its menu, right, and like, what is the button called? More, more menu? What, what, like, stupid name, you know? What if it actually took this dumb UI and gave it some use? Like, literally all you could do is add a button, like, on here, and just call it subscriptions. And then what if the player could click this button called subscriptions and then they'll just get like a menu which has all of the subscriptions that the game, you know, is offering. Like, I'll be honest, I see literally zero downsides of this. I guess the one thing you could say is like, oh, but, um, you know, what if I only want to offer a subscription when my user reaches like level 100 or something but it's like roblox could just easily add a thing that where you can just say like subscription dot active equals false and then it just it won't let you buy it until you actually fulfill you know whatever criteria that the game needs you to fulfill and the last issue i have with subscriptions is that i feel like you should just reward players more for having them so like imagine this what if a player buys a subscription and then their name becomes like golden on the leaderboards sure the developer could code in some feature where it's like you know i don't know your character begins like sparkling or something like like i don't know like I've seen games do this, where it's like, you give them money, and then they like, this is how they reward you, they give you little sparkles. I remember when I first bought Roblox Premium, bro, I felt like, I had that little, you know, premium, like, logo, like, on my name, bro, I felt like such a, 
such a princess, bro. Like, I don't know, it felt like I gave them money and then they actually like, you know, treated me like a valuable customer. But here it's like, I give them a subscription and it's like, like sure, I'm going to get the in-game benefits. Absolutely. If I, I'd be a scam if I did it. But like, come on, Roblox, you know, how hard is it to implement like some golden gradients name? If you disagree with like anything I said, or you have, you know, your own things to add, you know, comment them below. Just for fun, I will actually uh, leave a link to this game in the description, right? I'll make this like literally the, the lowest price I can. If you subscribe to this, uh, I'm going to give you a badge. Okay, and you're gonna get a you're gonna get a sigma male badge. So as long as you're subscribed, you're gonna be considered an alpha male by me. Okay, so I hope I hope that's that sounds like a good offer. If so far you found my teaching style to be you know very captivating and amazing and not like you know absolutely boring like you know some YouTubers are, I do have a beginner to expert course uh, on Roblox Studio which is linked in the description. You know same teaching style, same everything, and parts of the course actually are free to preview. So like you don't even have to give me your money, right? You can just like look at the course, see if you like it, and then make your own decision. And as always, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.